Hello everyone, welcome to Swing Around the World Virtual Camp. Yay! Alright, so <laughs> we didn't really organize that. Uh, but yeah, so this is the virtual camp. So uh, this is this is gonna be a very fun 30 minutes pre-recorded class and we're gonna introduce ourselves a bit. I'm Jason from Taiwan. I'm Kai Lun from Taiwan. Cool. So we both of us oh no. Uh, I'm from Taipei, Taiwan, which is the capital. He's not from Taipei. But still live in Taipei. Right, but we work together as a dancing partner. Yes. And we both work in this school called Switch Taipei over here. Switch right. Taipei. Yes, so the Switch is the thing that you may know about Nintendo Switch. But? But this is not the Switch you are thinking about. Actually, in swing, uh, swing dancing, there's a trend happening uh, nowadays. It's probably starting late in the last two years that a lot of people trying to do switch dancing because it's really about breaking the, uh, the gender, gender role or gender stereotype because we have a lot of problems with that uh, people thinking that the leader should be a man and follower should be a woman uh, I totally don't believe that and that's why we start a switch Taipei uh, in Taipei that we really want to focus on first of all breaking the gender role by introducing switch dancing because if you're switching a role constantly in a, in a dance, you will know that also oh, uh, for women they can do, women do, does, women do lead and men do follow as well because they're switching role all the time and the environment would be much more LGBTQIA plus friendly and also Switch Type is, uh, has put a lot of emphasis on this as well that we really want to raise the awareness of the LGBT uh, community in, inside of Switch Dancing scene uh, sorry, swing dancing scene because it's very rare and yeah, like you see the videos even though there are some really old footage, footages that you see uh, two men, same sex couple dancing but it's very very rare so we really want to encourage this and we hope to see much more uh, same sex couple representation yes. in the world as well Right, so due to this, uh, we're gonna teach some really basic routine for the Lindy Hop. It's a Lindy Hop routine, it's partner dancing. Uh, and during the class, I will be I will be teaching for the followers part. I will be the leader, but we will switch a little bit. Yeah, so we'll start from a very basic uh, routine with like six count and eight count moves mixed, and then add a kind of a surprise ending for the, for the four count surprise at the end of the phrase. And then we'll add some follower initiation and also leader initiation with a juicy triple turn. That's for the second part. And then last part, we'll add a switch move inside of this routine. Okay. Right. Are you ready? No matter are you ready or not, we're gonna start. <laughs> Right, so this part we're gonna start with uh, six count practice drill, and this uh, we'll be using this as a triple turn practice because later on in the in our routine we'll add this very nice and juicy triple turn into our routine. Right, and it's a six count uh, practice. It looks like this: a uh, boom, ba, shoo, da da, shoo, da da. So this is followers for work. We're gonna have make the triple turn on the second triple in the six count move. Right, let's try with music. <laughs>
Okay. So we're gonna have a phrase for a routine, and then we're going to do uh, the movement like this one. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Swing out. Boom. Bam. Ah. Ah. Boom. Ah. And go back to the close position. Ah. Ah. Turn. Ah. 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 It's actually pretty simple. So the first one is a swing out, yeah. and then we follow up with a six count basic, um, but back to the close. And then after that, we're going to do a tuck turn, and then after the tuck turn, we're going to do a eight count kind of a variation, adding turning to it. And then last part is a four four count move. We just yeah. do a pass by in four counts. Right. So let's uh, break down into some details. So okay. um, the first move is a swing out, and we start from the close. And let's see when leaders start to move. Five, six, swing out. So the no more swing out. No, I'm going to move the power out there. But this one, I'm going to follow the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. One, two. Right. So the end, end of this swing out. Make sure that leader you have to uh, come to followers right side. So that we will uh, at the end of the swing out we are facing to this direction. Yes. And the next six count, we're gonna do what right. I do. Two, two, ah, 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 shoot, ah, 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 one. Right. And then later on, we're gonna do a tuck turn from here. Very quickly. Go, ah, shoot, ah, ah, tuck, ah, 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 go. And it's a normal tuck turn. Right. So we're going the same way. Do, ah, do, ah, 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 one. We're going to follow the follow again. One, two, three, and four. Three, step, one, two. Right. So after that, after that, we are coming to this same direction from here. Uh, leaders on the followers right side, and then we're gonna do the eight count move. Looks like this. A one, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One. Right. So usually, maybe if you learn this move as in this way, we'll get back to the close. So that's like um, the more common way to do it. And for this time, the leader is gonna I will stay around a little bit the place, and I will still do the other position. Right. So on which count you you're gonna like stay uh, I will stay, move, stay, I will stay at one, two, three. I will stop myself. And I do the five turn. I will stay in the spot. Two, one, one. Right. So that's the difference. So on count five in this move, a uh, follow is gonna keep moving to the direction while leader stay on the spot. So last time, this eight count looks like this. Two, ba, two, ba, da, da, u, ba, 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 ba. Okay. And then from here, we are getting to this uh, handshake hold, and then we're gonna do a four count side pass at the. A little, adding a little bit twist at the end, so it looks like this. Uh, one, two, two, ta. And then we'll end this phrase with this surprising and yes. very happy Woo! move. All right. Okay. So, all right. so that's for all the moves, and then we're gonna do it one more time. Yeah. Uh, all in a row. Five, six, seven, go. Swing out. Two, da, chi, chi, da, two, da, ba, 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 da, chi, chi, da, two, da, ba. Four counts. Okay, so that's for the all the routine that we are having. Shall we do this way? The other way? Yeah. Oh, yes. So it's from your ankle. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. okay. So that's for the movement. Do we have any details that we want to cover? Uh, first is the swing out, and uh, after the forward goes out, I will go to the forward right side. So five. Five. And don't stop your follower uh, about her moment. Uh, the follower 
Force Momentum, and I will go to all to right side, straight up straight. So after the flight, I will still go in loop. A five, six, seven, seven eight. eight, one, two. Right. So for follow, because I notice that my my partner is moving toward me, so I'm not stopping myself on the on the on this kind of six movement. So we, we don't want to we don't want to stop ourselves on six. Instead, like I'm I'm gonna keep moving uh, to the same direction that leader gave me gave me. So there will be a little twist on the seven and eight triple step. Instead of three go back, there will be a little bit of rotational energy happening. So it looks like this. And uh, two, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I still uh, open myself up, and then we're moving back to this box set. Shoot, get up, shoot, get up. Right. So you can see the seven and eight triple is a little bit different. So just notice that you keep you are keeping the rotation energy, so you are not triple back. Like directly, we're gonna triple back with with our body rotate, open up, and then follow up. We'll have um, the rock step for the next six counts. And the next six count move, there's only one detail that we need to cover, which is the rock step. So the rock step instead of rock back, instead of this, we're in, we're using the rotational energy. So we're gonna rock this. step from this side. Uh, Right. The reason why we're using this energy, first of all, is uh, we're continuing the momentum from the, uh, from the previous swing out. And the second thing is that because we are using this uh, six count move to go back, and we really need that uh, rotational energy start from the beginning. Yeah. Right. And then we, and then to six count, we go back to close, and then follow up with the tuck turn. This tuck turn doesn't have any. Yeah, but I do have the uh, uh, things yeah. after the, the last four count movement. So okay. normal four part, uh, the mo normal three parts is a uh, one, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six. But now we're gonna speed up at the two. One, one two, two, three, four. Then we add the jump or something starting to uh, change our yeah, uh, we're trying to really push the beat. So instead of the, the this is this looks like the straight four counts. Yeah. There's no surprising. There's no pushing the beat. It look it looks like this. Yeah. One, two, three, four. It's like very straightforward. Yeah. But we're gonna push in uh, on the count three in in this in this in this four counts side pass. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, go. Two, five, shoot, ha. So you can do two, ha. Okay. One, two, two, ha. Then you can do a little bit of syncopated. Mm -hmm. A one, two, two, ha. Five, six, seven, go. The one, five, shoot, ha. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, because we're we have both of us have momentum on. Uh, on the opposite direction. So after we we stop ourselves, uh, we still have that, so we can really use each other as the support. Yeah, I think you can feel the about uh, balance here. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you can really uh, you can try to find that. So the whole thing will look very dynamic and it's really connected. Yeah. Right. So that's all for the details breakdown for the routine itself. Yeah. Mission one. <laughs> Mission two. Okay. okay. So what's mission two over here? Oh, so remember the one up things we're going to do uh, about the triple turn? Yeah. yeah. So the triple turn, we're gonna put this triple turn into into the routine, and where we're.
we're gonna put this triple turn is in uh, there's a six count uh, back to close move yeah. and we're gonna make uh, the second triple into a triple turn and this triple turn we have mentioned that this is all really depends on ourselves but you can think that is improvisation or if you follow you can initiate that and the leader really doesn't have to do it or leader can do it and then follow I don't have to do it right so there may be three ways of doing this so we're going to show you uh, these three ways of doing it the first one is going to be follower initiated and then leader doesn't do it yeah. right so it looks like this the six time move so we go one, one two three four five, 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 five. okay right and then so the first uh move, the first thing we're going to try follower initiate that we're going to do like this two, shoot two, Right. So the only thing changed is on the second triple and a follower you're going to initiate this triple turn. Or the second thing we can try is leader do it and follow uh, Justin do it. Okay, and the last thing is that we can do it together. So it looks like this. Okay, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about how we do this triple turn. So, because we already have the practice in the, at the first, so you get a little bit of the understanding of how your body works. Uh, but now we're gonna break into more details of how actually our body works. works. So, for the normal one, uh, let's start from here. So, for the normal six count, our body would, uh, our body would move like this. So it's one, two, three, uh, uh. right. So we're just moving forward, and we we don't have uh, much of the rotational energy happening in a normal six count. Um, come back. But if, for example, if for follow, if I want to initiate that, I would, I would ask for more energy from my partner. So I will add up the more rotational energy in my first triple. It will look like this. Do, ba, and then do, and ba. So you can see, actually, I, uh, the follow will turn up a bit more than normal. So uh, leader is just moving forward, and I'm moving forward. At the same time, I open up my body so that we get some uh, support from here. And then I use this as the energy to do the next three full turns. And we'll go back to the close again. And I didn't expect that, and it's a follower choice. Yeah, all right. Um, so I recommend to try, like you can really try to video yourself. Uh, when you practice, also if you have a mirror, pay attention to the mirror, and then you can see if your body opens up uh, enough. And also try to communicate with your partner, because this, this is really about uh, communication and talking, so you can, you can try this and then you ask your leader, do you feel that? Or do I need to rotate more so that you feel more, something like that. Uh, and here is, as uh, Charlie said, this is a follower, follower's choice, follower's initiation. So yeah, like don't worry that you will influence your partner. There's no such thing. So just try to do it and do it uh, very, very like mm, precise so that your partner could understand what's going on there. Yeah. Right. So let's try. Let's see one more time. Uh, this time the two do. I will. We will do like two. One of which, and then you can guess which one. This one we're gonna do a triple turn, or we're gonna do a normal one. Okay. Five, six, seven, go. <laughs> Okay, right, so we do uh, three of that, and then you can tell the first one from our body uh, that we're just moving forward, we don't, I don't add any more rotation energy on the first triple, so the first one is just a normal one, and the third, second one and the third one, I add much more rotation, so you will see my body moves like this. And so you can tell that's for the rotation one, rotational one. 
Yeah, so that's for followers, uh, initiation, and we'll move on to the leaders part. Yeah, okay, the leaders part, then there's an opposite spot. It's like, um, I, c I don't need to let my followers know I'm going to turn, because if I let the followers, uh, let the followers know, they might turn as well. So, after the three, one, two, three, and four, I still give the followers the same energy to go back, shut up, back. But I will turn the extra turn for myself, and I don't mean to influence my power left. So, my arms will really, really um, relax. Yeah, you don't need to be like push your way to your power, so you just need to be relaxed and turn yourself. So you need to uh, here you need to turn yourself a little bit out, then release here and turn. Ah. Okay. So like this one, five, six, seven, practice you can try with a partner that you can really shout out like when you feel that especially for followers in education part you can uh, you can ask your leader to really shout out that turn when you feel the turn <laughs> okay or if nothing then you don't say much so let's it would be like this so it's gonna be my my I will initiate the turn and then you shout out the turn a turn! A turn! <laughs> okay, right. Why, why I will know a lot before I was going to turn because uh, he's in a lot of energy to do a prep. So that's the reason I know, and I'm going to support the followers. The energy, uh, like compression, to make a balance, then make a power easier to turn. Well, okay, so um, yeah, so that's for followers initiation, initiation, and the leaders initiation. Um, and later, the last part it would be we will be turning together, and we do believe that uh, like. The, the, the connection in between each other really builds on what we can do on our own. So the reason, that's why we encourage you guys to try, turn by yourself first. So follow, I have to know how to turn by myself and also leader how to turn by themselves. Mm -hmm. And then finally, because we have this common knowledge, mutual knowledge about how our body moves so that we can feel that the other uh, our partner is turning. So we get this information and this is the connection in between us, so we will turn together. So this would make this uh, triple turn much more easier if we want to do it together. Right. So we will use the same uh, we will use the same body movement we will to to make ourselves turn together. Right. So if we want to turn together, we are both we will do do turn a da two da da two Right, so we will turn up a bit more from this side. Five, six, seven, go. Right. So this may be this may be much more easier if we just teach you how to do turn together and we talk a little a lot about yeah. like how you lead this move, how you feel this triple turn. So instead we tried this new approach, maybe you can try it. Uh, as well by moving ourselves first and then talk about how do you make your partner feel and how you feel your partner. Yep. Right. So this is for the first part, now we are adding the triple turn. Yep. Then there's another part we can add a triple turn into it, which is in the A count move. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like this. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> so uh, that was a follower's turn, and then we can see the leader's turn. Okay, right? Okay. 
Okay, so so this is the same thing because we are we don't connect to each other uh, through our arms or hands. So this turn would be much more easier in a way that we don't influence much. Uh, we don't get uh, information from each other. But in this time, you really need to work on yourself. Because there's no, we don't get support from each other. Yeah. yeah. And the leader, you should know, uh, because you're going to reconnection to holding a hand, so you need to turn a little bit quicker than you, ba, bu, ha, ha, shu, ha, ha, shu. The bu, ba, shu, ha, ha, bu, ba, bu, ha, ha. So sing about with hand and baby. Yeah. Okay. So because uh, I don't know, like for follow, I don't know if my partner will turn will will turn or not. So I would just really pay attention to not only myself but also my partner. And there's another thing that you can notice that when I, no matter I I do the turn or not at a at the last triple, I will make sure uh, my arms is around here. Like I don't do turn like this, or I don't do don't turn don't do turn like this. Well, my, during the turn, I can do it, but at the end, at the end, remember to uh, place your arms back to a much more neutral position. So you will notice that if I make the turn and then leader uh, doesn't do the turn, so when I'm getting back at the end of the turn, it's very easier for leader to catch uh, your partner's arm so that the next rock set would be very natural. Shoot, ha, okay. So uh, let's try. Let's show this in a in a move. It was like this. So I will turn it. Five, six, seven, eight. Shoot, ka da, shoot, ka wa, ha ha. And then when I'm turning, I'm um, finish my my triple turn. You can see the leader uh, could catch my arms much more easily. Right. So that's for follows and maybe leaders as well. Like always, uh, place your arms on a neutral. Natural position. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and that's that's for the triple turn part. Plus, I have to cover one thing: is that when we make the turn, don't rush into the turn. Like, don't rush to finish the turn because actually, if you we really really slow down at the end of the turn, we don't turn uh, 360 degree at all. We under rotate that. So it's gonna be like this. If we're gonna do the turn, it's one, two, three, four, step, three, four, step. So if I, so I'm, I'm, or like I'm, I'm only facing to this direction. If I do a whole turn, which is 360 degree, I should look like this. But instead, I'm here. So I, I'm doing the under rotate. Uh, the turn is under rotate. But we are keep moving all the way until the rock step. So I, so I can continue the flow. So my rock step would start from here and then keep turning until the next raw step. Right. So this flow in between is very, very important. And that's how you make your dance much more laid back, much more casual. We don't rush everything out. Yeah. So that's for the triple turn part. This is the beat. Right. Mission number two, adding triple turn. Switch Taipei from Taipei, Taiwan. We're gonna add a little bit uh, switch into this move. Okay. And we're gonna teach you guys our favorite move. I somehow created, I forgot where. <laughs> but this is super cool because we're gonna switch in a tuck turn. That looks like this. I'm the follower now. Five, six, seven, go. Okay. Right. So within six counts, we're switching rows. Yeah. 
and let's try it the, the other direction from here. So uh, it's a power's choice to do a switch. Yeah. So, so one, two, one, two, three, two, three two, four, two, five, two, five, six, one, one two. Okay. Right. So the the key point, the first key point, it would be I have to initiate it, so I have to know when to start. Right. So the earlier the better. So I would start this uh, initiation on count three. On count three. So the tr the the point is over here. So we go one, two, three, or four. I feel my hands picking by followers. Yeah. So for follow, I you really need to do two things on count three. First is I'm gonna rotate much more than a normal tuck turn. So the normal tuck turn would look like this. Da, shu, da, da. Right. So I, I turn in this direction. This is like the normal one. But if I'm gonna uh, do the switch move in the tuck turn, I would do this. Do, ba, shu, da, da. I will turn much more and then I will make sure that uh, I still connect to my partner's arm. Second thing is that on count three, I have to use my left hand to catch my partner's uh, right hand. So it's here. Three, five, six, seven, go. A one, one, two, three, a four. Right. right, and then after I catch this, I'm gonna make a turn on five, six, and the footwork is gonna change to step, step. So one, two, three, uh, four, step, 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 step. So I can step the followers rock step. Rock step. Right. So that's for uh, for followers I need to pay attention to. That's to the whole thing to, uh, together. Six, Okay. So that's for the top turn and for leaders. So it's a follow choice to switch the road and I think there's a fun part for switch is like don't resist it. You need to enjoy it. <laughs> so I didn't know what going to uh, happen because I'm there, but since I feel my hand was catching by followers, I knew something's happened by myself and I feel a turn and uh, I know um, it's a hint for switch. So I will do power rust. Yeah. So, um, so for there's a like a principle for switch dancing is what Charlie said. Like you don't resist it, you enjoy it, and always say yes to the change. So in order to do this, remember uh, to ask your partner. Like if you are social at a party, remember to ask uh, your, the your your partner. Do you want to do switch dancing? If your partner says yes, then do as many as you want. But also remember that if your partner don't want to do the switch, then don't do it because it's gonna be super like surprising and it's gonna be very sometimes very brutal because you will bump into each other or something. So remember to ask first, and then if you said yes, enjoy it. Always say yes to it. Right. So we're gonna put this into our routine on the tuck turn. The whole one. The whole thing is look like this. <laughs> Okay, yes, yes. So now this is bit number three. Switch. Thank you guys.